Hey, what's up guys? Casey Ferris. Thanks for checking out another video of mine that lives on YouTube. Today we are talking about the Fairlight audio inside of DaVinci Resolve 14. Many of you have been asking, how does it work? What does it do? Who is it? Who am I? So um, we're going to do some of that. Here I have a very simple edit that sounds awful. I have some music under this. I have a little interview with this lady, then I have some Nat sound under my first clip. This is all put together right inside of the Resolve timeline. I'll probably do a video on kind of like the workflow of making something from beginning to end inside of Resolve. That sounds like fun, but for now, I'm just gonna hop on over to the Fairlight tab. Couple tips just to begin with. If you don't hear audio in this tab, that could be for two reasons. The first and simple one, which hopefully it is, is in your color tab, you might have the audio off and there's like no indication that you have that going on in this tab. So you play it and there's no audio and oh my goodness, what's wrong with my life? It's that it's off right here in the color tab. That also works for the edit tab, it's bad. But anyway, check that. Also, you need to make sure that your settings for whatever your audio device is are the exact same settings as your timeline. So uh, if it's 24 bit, 48K, make sure that that's the same settings for your output and um, just kind of mess around with the settings until it works. I had to mess around with it a little bit to get it to work on my system because I, like many people, brought it up and it wouldn't play back and there was no audio, which is really troublesome for audio mixing. So here's our timeline. We have three tracks and I have a couple goals. First of all, I want people to hear this first track, which I'll just solo it. That's kind of a nice, you know, establisher sound, I guess. This isn't even from this clip. This is just from a different sound with a nice lawnmower in it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is extend this out over here and grab this little doohickey here and bring it in so that it fades out. I can also grab this little dot and adjust the type of fade, which I want something kind of like that, yeah. So now I play it and it kind of fades out nicely. So we'll do that. I'll also kind of fade it up a little bit at the beginning. So I don't want to just be like, bah! yeah, something like that. Let's go with that. That's good for this track. Now I'm going to listen to my dialogue track. We had women and children working in flower beds everywhere, pulling weeds and preparing it to put bark and mulch down. And my flower beds have never looked so good. They have not only cleaned them up, but they've planted flowers and, and such that I will be able to enjoy for a long time. Relatively clean audio. You can hear some stuff in the background, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, you can hear her pretty well, but what I'm going to do is I want to make this loud enough and I'm also going to work with some uh, dynamics filters and maybe some EQ. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that these are all at a good level. So I'm going to grab my first clip here, play it back. Pulling weeds and I'm going to bring this up like six decibels. We had women and children working in flower beds everywhere, pulling weeds and preparing it to put. That sounds good. I'm also going to take my other clips and let's go up six decibels. Put bark and mulch down and my flower beds have never looked so good. They have not. So I have this at a good level and now I'm going to take, now I'm going to apply some dynamics to this. The cool thing is that in Fairlight, they have built in dynamics plugins for each track. So this is on track one. I'm going to double click on this little square thing and bring it up. One thing I'm going to use is a compressor that makes uh, kind of the louder parts of things quieter, kind of squishes it a little bit. Children working in flower beds everywhere, pulling weeds and preparing it to put bark and mulch down and, and my let's see flower beds have never what it sounds like with and without so good. they have not only so cleaned it. them up but they've planted flowers and, with and it. such that I bring my I ratio down just a little bit so that kind of helps to just tame the louder parts of it I'm also going to bring up my makeup just a little bit so what this is doing is making the louder parts quieter and then this is going to bring up everything when I hit makeup flower beds everywhere pulling weeds and preparing it to put bark and mulch down and my flower beds have never looked so good. So now everywhere pulling weeds and preparing it. This is coming out really, really loud. It's easy to understand. And the only thing is I wonder if this sounds maybe just a little bit too thick. So I'm going to grab my built-in EQ for track one and play and it back. My flower beds have never looked 
so good. They have not only cleaned them up, but they've planted flowers and, and such that I will be able to enjoy for a long time. And around 250 or so, I'm gonna grab my cue, just make it pretty, pretty small, and let's just see how that sounds. Planted flowers and, and such that I will be able to enjoy for a long time. So this is with the EQ. Planted flowers and, and... And then this is without it. Planted flowers and... Gives it maybe a little bit more life. Cleaned them up, but they've planted flowers. So I'm not the best like audio guy in the world. I kind of know what dynamics do and EQ does, but the, it's really cool because it's built in. You can mess around with it until it sounds nice. This is for the dialogue track. That sounds great. Now I'm going to grab my third track, which is the music track, and I'm going to do a frequency scoop, which pretty much just... I'm gonna grab this fourth band about 1K and just bring it down, I don't know, 8 dB or so. Make my cue pretty narrow and let's see how that sounds. So it's just taking away some of the sound at 1K because that's about where voices live, somewhere in there. And so we're kind of making some room in the mix for the voices. I'm also going to adjust the levels along with the dialogue. And I can do that just right here in the mixer. Pulling weeds and preparing it to put bark or mulch down. And my flower beds have never looked so good. They have not only cleaned them up, but they've planted flowers and, and such that I will be able to enjoy for a long time. So that sounds pretty good, but one thing is I want this music to start a little bit louder than it is right now without this little EQ scoop. So what I'm gonna do is add an audio track and add a stereo track. I can go here to where my dialogue starts and I'm gonna hit control slash and cut my clip here and I can just bring this down to a new track. So this is just a regular track with nothing applied to it, no EQ, and I can adjust the level there. So I'm gonna do like maybe negative six. We had women and children. There we go. Comes in at a good full volume and then ducks down on track three to a quieter volume. And it also has that EQ scoop that helps you hear the dialogue. Lastly, I'm gonna zoom in here and do a cheap crossfade. There's a hundred ways you could do this. This is just a fast way to do it. We had women and children working in. And I'll do the same thing for the end. I'm gonna cut this clip and just bring it down. That's the good thing is you don't have to adjust anything. You just move it to a different track and it will have all the adjustments for you. You just need to fade it in and out. A long time. So there we go. I have four tracks all treated in Fairlight audio. Let's see how it sounds. We had women and children working in flower beds everywhere, pulling weeds and preparing it to put bark or mulch down. And my flower beds have never looked so good. They have not only cleaned them up, but they've planted flowers and, and such that I will be able to enjoy for a long time. So yeah, it sounds pretty good. There's a lot of awesome tools. I'm just barely digging into Fairlight, uh, but the built-in EQ and the dynamics are really, really powerful. It's super convenient and you can completely like mix and finish your audio for whatever project you're working on right inside of Resolve now. Pretty exciting. I like it. Hope you guys like this. If you do like this, make sure to hit that like button. For more post-production videos, things on Resolve and color grading, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.